All right, now we're going to give today a go without the case on the ProGo and see uh, see how we do. Um, I call it a ProGo because it's a knockoff. We had a little co concrete shrinkage last night. Yep, sure did. So I, I poured that one last night. Uh, I ran out of battery in the old ProGo, so turns out this thing just smokes through battery. It's kind of silly, but so last night I just went ahead and dumped. Uh, I mixed up a bag and just poured one in the bottom of these remaining three holes for today. That one, this one, and that one. Um, so yeah, I figured it would give me a base layer to build off of uh, for my levelness and it'll act kind of maybe as a plug or a plunger. Some dense bit that's got to get pushed down first because to me all of this force is just going to be downward force. Um, Unless we turn out to get smashed into by a tornado, which I feel is highly unlikely, but still got to build this. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do here uh, with my 10 foot hunk of uh, tree carcass there, I'm going to grab my couple of foot level I have. I'm going to level across to here, probably pound in a stake uh, that I can put a nail in or something uh, at the 10 foot mark um to uh get level thus far and then i'll pull off of that to come to here i think that will work for me uh i'm not 100 percent certain but in my head it makes sense uh, i phoned a friend last night and he gave me some advice too he said it should work just fine otherwise i'm really particular about this being level this ways uh, I think if the whole building is off by an inch or two, uh, it will be of little to no consequence. Uh, in fact, it might help water drain off the roof. But that's not going to be my intended purpose. If, uh, if it ends up that way, then it will be a feature and not a flaw. Shed Nanigans Lesson 456. If you're going to fill some concrete in the hole ahead of time, thinking that you're all smart and clever and stuff, uh, don't put too much concrete in the hole. So I just lopped off uh, two and a quarter inches of this because we're a little high yet. So learn from me, friends.
so this one here's how tall we are too much extra two and a quarter inches um that's how much we were on the last one as well All right. Oh, that one's got this still. So you might be able to see I cheated all these these pieces this way, so the edges of the container should go further in this way. And I believe that is going to suit my needs a little more better. We will see. So maybe tomorrow I will drag the container over. I might need to put the door on first. So the door is going to go. We're going to walk out in between the truck and here and the door will be right here so I don't think I'm gonna have to use the tractor to help get the door in and I might have to put the door in because there's not a lot of clearance clearance all right and I'll put, pull the strings up and start cleaning up and get rid of the trash bags and all that fun stuff I was always pretty happy with my two before and my level uh, I have a friend with the transit. Uh, he was out of town. So, did it the old fashioned way. And I think it'll be good. Uh, I'm interested though. I've thought about asking him to pop over with it and just, uh, just shoot these and see how close I did. But I think they're, they're close enough for what I'm up to. Here you go kids, here's something they don't teach you in school. Whenever you're winding your string up, oh my telly's going off, don't do it like this. Because it'll bunch up and then the ends will fall off either way and you get a big giant knot. Don't do that. What you want to do is uh, X cross it, so like so. If you do that, it'll pull off. Like you want it to. So I learned that uh, uh, from one of my buddy's dads. I learned that when I was a youngster, and been doing it ever since with good success. <laughs>